does the person you are with encourage you to read you have to ask what does he bring for me roses or books if someone has a stake in making you better that person will push you towards books books are what we all need is death as an event good or bad experience if we dissolve ourselves in the universe after death or to the bigger self see you are sitting here you are writing something you travel a particular distance how is all of that any less important than an imaginary moment of death nobody ever seems to ask what will happen when i will sip the next cup of tea nobody seems to ask what will happen when i'll breathe next are all these things any less important but we always seem to be asking about death death is so important nothing is important death is important life is not important every single moment that you are living is not important death is important and how is death any more important than all this because we are afraid because we are shivering to the core so death is important sir is death more important than all this is death more important than all this if you understand this you automatically understand it but what there is no need and suppose i don't talk of death suppose i am the first man on earth who has not seen death i won't be afraid I am not talking about death at all. I don't know. I don't know. I am the first man. I have not seen death. It has no significance at all. Why must I talk of death? There is this existence. Yes, and it is factual. It is right there. My senses are bringing it to me. And there is this mind that wants to understand all this. What is death? do not want to have opinions about things do not ask how a particular thing will appear in the mirror clean the mirror polish the mirror then everything will appear as it is the same mind that wants to have an opinion about death also has an opinion about marriage about money about life about disease about education work career right it's the same mind that has an opinion about everything it's the same mind that looks at everything same i this i cannot look with clarity at anything can it look clearly at death my life is confused and in knots hmm i understand nothing i do not understand why my wife is upset i do not understand why there is a, this kind of disease in my body i do not understand anything will i understand death
please understand this when i said that there is this movement there is life there is this and that why don't you speak about that why bother yourselves with death it's the same mind that looks at death right you do not understand what is happening in this room you do not understand what is happening on the terrace you do not understand what is happening on the road you do not understand what goes on in your mind how will you understand death a little dog comes to you you do not understand what is happening huh you do not understand the mind is attacked by greed you do not understand what is happening but you want to understand death will that happen can that happen isn't it the same mind the same mirror or is the mirror selective does the mirror say that when a particular face comes in front of me i will reflect clearly all other faces i will not reflect clearly does the mirror say that it's the same mirror the same mind clean the mirror and everything will appear as it is but you are bothered about one particular object and the name of the object is death i want to understand death i understand nothing but i want to understand death understand life is there in front of you to understand why be obsessed with that particular thing which no one knows because you are afraid because you have heard that death is the final annihilation that i'll be no more after death so the ego shivers so you are obsessed with that and because you are obsessed with that so you can't even look at life even uh, krishna murti was the same thing we don't understand life but we always talk about death death, death. I do not understand why I am writing this question, but I want to understand death, and I may even claim that you know, I I I now understand death. And technically, there will be nothing left after death. So whatever is is this life, rather than being more bothered about what life is, I am more bothered about what death is. can we take this as a as a guide a mind that is incapable in one area is bound to suffer from the same incapability in okay. other areas as well i once told a few friends that if you are incapable on the football ground you will find yourself incapable in the bedroom as well because it's the same mind you do not understand what to do when the ball is passed to you how will you understand what to do when other things are passed to you <laughs> you again find yourself <laughs> arrested stuck frozen what will you do and the moment is gone it's all a game of timing beat football or cricket <laughs> it's a game of timing or the classroom or a joke everywhere it's a game of timing learn to time it properly and for that you need spontaneity right beautiful timing can come only from spontaneity but then something just takes possession of you and you find yourself incapable of moving in in a liquid way it's the same mind how will you live how will you live
forget imaginary things there is enough right now here our hands are full hmm pay attention to that understand that pay attention to the road pay attention to the road and then you won't need to think about death pay attention to the clothes that you are wearing pay attention to the words that you utter pay attention to what you talk to your girlfriend on phone and you'll understand death in kathopanishad when nachiketa approaches <coughs> yamraj he says tell me what is death and yamraj doesn't tell him anything about death he tells him about life and nachiketa says i have understood now i have fully understood who can tell you about death and why do you need to be told about death <laughs>